What's up, guys? Tasteless is back, and we're going to be going on to our final best of three here. Uh, I am going to be solo casting this uh, this last match for you here today. Um, so far, PvP, pretty cool matchup. Obviously, when uh, we're talking about Protoss, we have to just talk about the Adept first, since that's changed the entire way uh, that we view that matchup. The Adept, so strong, able to get in there and pressure. Uh, not just pressure, scout, you can harass with it. Um, and then beyond that, just when it comes to engagements, such a strong unit. Uh, in our previous PvP, we saw Hurricane opting to not go that route, uh, instead to go for more of a stalker-based opening. I'm not entirely sold that it's not a bad idea either, because I don't think that's what actually ultimately ended up costing him some of those games. It seemed like stats, uh, as even he said from his own words, uh, had better control and uh, better macro. But uh, we'll see if it's going to be a factor here as well. Um, just yesterday I was casting Liquid Hero. Today I'll be casting the hero I think most people who watch uh, more recent StarCraft are familiar with. It's going to be uh, CJ Hero. This guy is absolutely a fantastic player. Um, I would just say I think he's probably going to win 2-0. I will be pleasantly surprised if it's close or if it's an upset. Patience, uh, somebody you guys also might be a bit familiar with. I think he's a very strong player. I think he's very smart. But when you look at somebody like Hero, who really just defines Protoss in the way that we understand it, you know, at any point in time, there's always about, what, like maybe two or three players in each race that are actually changing the meta. I mean, when these guys do a new strat or a new build and it's streamed and broadcast to the world, the whole damn ladder changes. Uh, Hero is one of those guys. And uh, before I say anything else, let's go and take an interview. Uh, take a look at an interview with our two players. CJ Entus의 김준호입니다. 스타리그 우승자 김준호입니다. 게이머 하면서 최고의 날이었던 것 같아요. 저번 시즌 스타리그 우승자 잘 모르겠어요. 그때 그 시절 원탑이었던 것 같아요. 요즘도 잘하시고 항상 잘하시는 것 같아요. 최근에 조지현 선수 얘기 들었을 때 내가 1등이라고 들었는데 실력적인 부분에서는 조지현 선수도 잘하시는 것 같아요. 그냥 빌드 준비만 잘하면 자신감은 항상 있을 것 같아요. 조지현 선수보다는 일단 방송 경험도 되게 많고 경험적인 부분에서 제가 압도하는 것 같아요. 저도 최근에 제가 게임하면서 또 너무 잘한다고 느껴가지고 컨트롤에서 안 밀릴 자신 있어요. 워낙 그 전부터 컨트롤은 자신 있던 타라서 지금 자신 있는 것 같아요. 중독도. 피지컬은 워낙 원래부터. 제가 온라인에 오프라인에서 온라인으로 한번 보내드려야 될것 같아요. 레더 1등이라고 들었는데 16강에서 바로 레더 열심히 하도록 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. <웃음> 이번 시즌 열심히 할 때는 지켜봐 주세요. 지금 재밌게 즐기면서 게임 열심히 노력하고 있으니까 저번 연도처럼 많이 응원해 주시면 게임으로 보답해 드리겠습니다. Little update for you guys here. Patience is rank one in the ladder. That's pretty crazy. That is, obviously the Korean server is the hardest ladder. He's rank one in the whole world. We don't actually oftentimes get to be casting the player who's rank one. A lot of players keep that secret, but Patience is rank one. But hey man, this ain't no ladder. This is the goddamn SSL guys. They're in, he's in a booth, people are watching, and Hero is somebody who prepares very well for his matches. As I was saying before, Hero's uh, one of those players that defines Protoss. I know in some of my other casts I've mentioned that, uh, you know, maybe uh, we should expect upsets. It's a new expansion, a new game, but I do think Hero is somebody who's going to be a powerhouse, staying strong here in Legacy of the Void. But, I mean, number one on the ladder, man, that's also pretty good. That's something you can't really uh, brush off. And uh, that tells me we're going to have, I think, the best PvP we could possibly ask for. The game's loading up. This is game number one, Patience Against Hero in the SSL.
in the upper right, in the red. It is Patience. And down here in the bottom left, in the blue, our other Protoss player, he's Hero. Already a very fast scout here from Hero. Doesn't mean we're going to see necessarily anything proxied, but it does tell us he wants to know exactly what Patience is up to in his base. He's not interested in surprises here today. And it does seem as though, um, just judging from what Hero's been doing so far, we might have some quick adept play. He's getting the two gates there. Um, probably a core right behind that. And uh, probably some pushing with that. We'll see, though. Uh, again, we did see some Stalker usage early on in um, in this matchup. I don't know if that's the way to go. Well, out of all the matchups you know, in Legacy of the Void, I feel like this is the one I'm a little bit shaky on. Uh, I think we're still going to have to find out. You know, PvP, especially in StarCraft 2, has always been a really dynamic matchup. There's so many different builds you can do, so many different branches that you can take on uh, in PvP. And uh, with the new units that Protoss has, I think it's only gotten crazier. Cybernetic score is finishing up. Note the, uh, it's a tight uh, wall off there. Two adepts coming up here for Hero. And that might also explain why Hero was eager to scout right away, is that in case his opponent was doing something like that, he might at least be able to get inside of his base and see what's going on. So Hero already off to a pretty good start here. Got the Citadel coming now here for Hero. I, I'm curious if he's going to make uh, more adepts with this or if he just segues into more basic traditional Protoss units. Warp Gate coming for both of these guys. Note that Patience does go for the quick expand, whereas Hero is going for some pretty intense teching. And finally he takes that Nexus. That's going to be much later. As you guys can see, Patience's Nexus is already done. Two adepts getting very close. The Shades... Allowing them to get even closer here. Will they go up the ramp? I'm not entirely sure. And we see a Dark Shrine coming here with this. This is quite interesting. Uh, I haven't quite seen a build exactly like this, but it, it's kind of cool because, first of all, Patience probably feels pretty safe. He's walled out the uh, Adepts. And, you know, he knows his Nexus is going to be quicker because there's no way you could get Adepts this fast and also have a base. So Patience is probably pretty confident. But DT's coming. And note that Patience does go for the target. Oh my god! He didn't see it. He backed up. Always go all the way to the edge there, guys. Always. Hey, the Robo Bay coming here. So there's a Stargate uh, for Patience. What if he starts going Phoenixes, man? What if he has no way to see these DTs that are clearly about to be warped in here just outside the entrance of Patience's base? This could be a pretty big problem. The DTs are almost done. Note the one adept uh, scouting around the map for any possible proxies, any shenanigans that might uh, tip the tide in Patience's favor. You don't have anything coming out of the Stargate yet, which is uh, a little bit weird. Uh, we'll see if that happens in a second. It's going to be an Oracle, but already two DTs are coming here, and they're going to be making a beeline for that pylon there at the entrance, and they're going to be going there right now. Oracle, uh, not even halfway done here. Oh, man. Okay, he has this a possible force field that he might just be able to use to buy time. There it is. Perfectly placed so that he can't even quite get the pylon. I almost wonder if it would have been more worth it to do it after the pylon dies, though. Um, so he does this. The pylon's been picked off. I think uh, wise decision-making here from uh, Patience decides to... Uh, or excuse me, from Hero, decides to go ahead and just try to kill as many of those units as he could. So, uh, so far, so good here for Patience. He's handled this really well. Patience is rank number one on the ladder, guys. That's pretty scary. Another Oracle is coming up here. Note the forge that Patience has started. I think it's a strong indicator that he's going to be going on uh, into trying to have a solid endgame here. Actually, double forge there. So he's going to be going for the upgrades. Uh, I know I like Hero's build more at the start, but as things have panned out, I think Patience is in better shape. I think he's had an answer for everything that the hero's thrown at him so far. Oracle coming through here. Not destroyed just yet. Uh, could maybe take out some more probes here. Decides to back up. It did seem also as though Hero was setting up for a third base, but he never ended up taking it. And that might have been wiser. Had he done more damage, maybe he could have done that. 
DT also going to be dropped into the main here. There is no cannon yet. It's warping in. The probe's been pulled. They're actually coming back now, taking out a few probes here and there. Something not only to kill some workers, but also just to stop them from mining. Uh, not clear that they have anything to detect over here as well. Yeah, I mean, he's just doing a really good job. That base is not being mined from. This is definitely something the hero can utilize to, to eke out a, a further lead. The third base, by the way, being taken here by Hero. Um, Patience, I think, trying to balance this out, does dive in with that Oracle, starting to pick off uh, probes. Unfortunately, it was picked, uh, it was shot down there as well by those pylons. So, Hero, um, he's doing a very good job in this game overall. Stat, uh, excuse me, not stats, that was a previous game. Patience is going to have to take uh, his Nexus now, albeit a little bit later. No, we do have some Phoenixes being produced. As this game continues forward here, also importantly, uh, the Forges are starting to kick into this game here for Patience. He's getting plus one attack, he's getting plus one armor. We don't see anything like that for Hero. Now, what does that mean for this game? Well, I think it would mean that Hero has to do some kind of attack or some kind of damage early on here. Nicely done, taking down that Oracle. He's going to have to do some kind of damage and punish Patience somehow. Before that, uh, the uh, at least, well, plus one attack you can't do anything about, but even the army upgrade is coming here. And this might be his moment to do that. He's going to send the Adept in here. I don't even think he uh, might fake this out. I think he might actually just have this come in here. Yep, there he is. Now, what he wants to do is have this army for uh, stat. I don't know why I keep doing that. For patience, excuse me. Come back and try to help defend the Adept. And that was uh, Boo Boo. Uh, we saw there with that warp in. So he's going to try again. What are you doing? Oh, my eyes. Take it easy on the APM here. Oh, you got to get these warpins, man. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to try to drop back here into the um, into this very back door base. Maybe send this Adept up here as well. I'm not sure. He's attacking in, and, uh, you know, this might have been a little bit more effective had he not screwed that up back there. But hold that thought. The DTs are coming up here. Now, there are two cannons here, which makes it a little bit more difficult for this to be effective. Uh, he does pick up. Notice the probes surrounding there. Nicely done there by Patience. He's a really smart player. Taking that Phoenix now. He needs to come in there and attack. I think Hero might be running out of gas here. Oh, no. He's going to have to unload that. This is bad. Patience really giving it to Hero here. Wow. Uh, now he picks this up. Takes care of that. The Stalkers are pushing forward. Don't forget the Hero already behind on upgrades. I think he had a possible window timing attack, but... Um, I don't know, man. I've never even seen a game like that where he was messing up the warpins and canceling his stuff from coming out. I think it's no secret to Hero that he's in bad shape this game. Already plus two starting right now for Patience. Patience definitely going for more of the, uh, the macro route. He wants to get into the late game. Hero attempting to open up with a tactical play which can act as a double-edged sword. If you don't do that damage early on, you're just in a bad shape later on. And especially in StarCraft 2, it's usually pretty difficult to actually recover from that. Gunning down one immortal, that's something. Certainly can't uh, discount that. Phoenixes are growing in number here. He's pumping them out of one Stargate. Hero, uh, I guess this is all he really can do. He takes a fourth base because he's keeping the pressure on patience here. Although it seemed to me that with the upgrades going the way they are going this game, there's not going to be much Hero can do when it's time for Patience to actually move out on the map. That time might even be now. We'll see. He's coming down here now. Looks like he wants to get those Phoenixes, but an un unwise move at that. The Nexus is going to be started up here. Now, even though the um, you know attack and arm upgrades for Patience are just in a massive lead here. By the way, the Forge only just now about to finish for Hero, just to put this into perspective for you guys. But on top of that... Um, I mean, I think this, this army is just overall more developed for Patience. Hopefully we'll see a better game here from Hero, but you know, I, hell man, I, you know, casters are wrong all the time. I thought that Hero was going to do a really good job in this game and maybe close this out, but as this game goes on, I'm really starting to think maybe, maybe Hero's got it. We'll see. Hero might want to try to attack up here. He did tech quicker, remember that, so he does have these Archons. Maybe this will be the moment, but the army upgrades are definitely better here for Patience. Let's see, though. He's got some pylons up here to defend. The Phoenix is orbiting around. He'll need to use that to pick up these Immortals if he can. Uh, right now, Patience beginning to back up. This Archon attacker and the Disruptor. There's actually nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Beautiful play there by Hero. 
the, uh, Phoenix is, by the way, not quite getting being able to get in here and do this damage. Note he's having some of these Archons come over here and do damage to these Phoenixes that are picking up these Stalkers. However, there is still three Immortals over here in the upper left. He's actually making his Immortals dance, by the way. Um, you know what? It's so funny. He had the right... He had the right... Uh, engagement, okay? Because, uh, you know, Patience was actually up in the upgrades, okay? But he had just enough units. He had this Archon tech, okay? Even though I was talking about Patience having this attack and armor advantage, um, the tech was slightly favored towards Hero. But the real story was when that Disruptor got back there into that sweet spot and detonated, just destroying everything. Really nicely done there by Hero. I mean, this is why Hero's had so much success here in, uh, in StarCraft too. I mean, he's just... He's a very adaptable player. And when he uses adapts, he's a very adaptable player, guys. He's got it all. Tell your friends to tune in and join us here. We're going into game number two here. Patience up against uh, up against Hero. Hero really showing us that uh, he's a very well-rounded player. Patience, by the way, rank one on the ladder, which is crazy. The ladder in Korea is by far, this is like the hardest ladder in any game that there's ever been. 